to the trickier question, can you actually switch now in 2022? You do need a driveway so that you can install a seven kilowatt charger. This allows you to charge overnight, which is really convenient. And it really, at the present time, doesn't make sense to actually rely just exclusively on the public network for charging. And also, of course, then you can't actually make use of the savings because you're paying so much more for the energy. Range is probably the most common subject that's brought up in regard to EVs. However, the reality is that the majority of people's commute or daily travel is less than 50 miles. And, they only, and you only occasionally do 200, 300 plus mile road trips that then require you to use the public charging network. Most modern EVs have ranges in excess of 200 miles and that number keeps on going up, excepting that in winter you usually experience a 10 to 15% reduction in range. So for most people like me, range isn't the issue that you think it might be. However, how you go about charging is very different to an ICE car in that you would normally charge only to 80% and try to ensure that your actual battery capacity doesn't go below 20%. You basically top up any time you take a break or maybe when you're parking at a car park rather than fill up to full when you're down to a quarter of a tank. However, you do need to plan where you are going to charge and not be time pressured due to issues regarding the charging time and reliability I will speak more about later. If you regularly do 200 plus mile journeys for work under time pressure, an EV is not for you unless you can afford a Tesla due to their excellent charging network and inbuilt software which removes the, this need to plan ahead. If you regularly tow a caravan or want to do long distances without stopping with maybe a ski rack or a bike rack or trailer, then really at the moment the, the range on an EV is not sufficient because it does reduce significantly when you've got this sort of load and tow. The good thing is there are solutions in the pipeline to address this in terms of range. So it's just a question of waiting really. Finally, the final reason you may not be able to switch now is simply the cost. There is no arguing that electric vehicles are expensive to buy, despite the fact that they are much cheaper to run, providing you can charge at home. So what are the solutions that are coming that are going to mean that you can switch? Regarding cost, the two things that are really going to drive prices down are developments in battery chemistry so they, they don't actually use the expensive elements like lithium, nickel, cobalt, manganese and also manufacturing techniques. One of the big advantages of EVs is the simplicity and as Elon Musk has demonstrated the best part is no part at all and certainly having less and less parts will actually speed the time it takes to actually build them, which again will drive prices down. The charging network is obviously the really headline issue. And there is no doubt that the infrastructure is not as it needs to be. One of the things that has definitely improved is that whereas before you used to have always have phone apps, multiple ones on your phone in order to use the charging network, more and more are going over to contactless which is great, which means you can just flash your credit card and you're off. Reliability and availability is probably the two big issues. Whereas I don't think it's as bad as it's been painted in some cases, there are definitely issues. I found InstaVolt and GridSurf to be excellent, but I have also found charges that don't work uh, are not reliable. Another problem is the number of charges. Because of the fact, generally speaking, you're going to be charging for 30 minutes, then you may find you have to wait at a charger because there's only two available. But they are definitely improving things, and the number of companies involved and the amount of investment involved is really impressive so I think this is a temporary problem and will become even more temporary as the range on EVs increases so that in fact actually the need to charge will decrease over time. I hope you found this video interesting and if so please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.